What is up guys, it is Bucky and welcome to your 18th Objective C tutorial. And in this tutorial I'm going to be building another program to demonstrate the if else. Um, the only difference between this one and the last one is that the last one was kind of useless, a dating website really. And this one is going to be a tidbit more practical. So, alright, how much more time I got? What? 10 minutes? Oh my god, I thought that was going to take longer. Probably should have dragged that out more. I have to actually teach you guys stuff oh well let's get started alright so what we're gonna have is a program that takes a number from the user and it tests if it's even or odd since people can obviously not test this for themselves we don't trust them so let's go ahead and make two variables we'll put um, a number that they're gonna enter and we'll put a variable for the remainder both are integers we don't trust them with a doubles or anything like that yet and now I guess we can just give them a little prompt and we'll, we'll have to be mean with them you know mean but firm like enter a number idiot and let's put an explanation point just so they know just so they really do it don't even think about it anyways let's go ahead and after this what we want to do is give them a chance to input that number because if we don't they would be really confused and we do this using the scan f function and go ahead and put percent i no at sign and then go ahead and put at number so now they're going to enter a number and it's going to be stored in the variable n and definitely needed to put and and not at and there we go, I knew I'd get it eventually. Alright, so whatever number they enter is going to be stored in the variable n. So how do we <coughs> test if that number is even or odd? Well, what we need to do is take that remainder variable and set it equal to n modulus 2. So this remainder is either going to be, for example, say they entered 5. 5 divided by 2 is 2 with a remainder of 1 so then r would be equal to 1 so in this case r would be equal to 1 say they entered 10 10 divided by 2 is 5 with a remainder of 0 so then r would be equal to 0 so what would happen here is anytime they would enter an even number r would be equal to 0 anytime they would enter an odd number r would be equal to 1 so we can use the if else statement to test what r is to determine whether the number is even or odd so let's go ahead and put if and as your condition what we want to do is test if r is equal to zero now what you need to do is put r equal equal zero and now you're saying alright why did you put two equal signs idiot well I'm not the idiot they are and here's why anytime you use one equal sign what it does is it takes a value and assigns it to a variable. Anytime you use two equal signs, equal equal, that means we're not going to change any values. We're just testing whether the value is equal to the variable. So one equal sign is to assign numbers or anything to variables. It's called the assignment operator. Two equal signs is the test to see if things are equal to one another. And there's also all these other tests, less than, greater than, um, less than or equal than, greater than or equal to, um, you know. But for now, all we need is the equals the equals. So if r is exactly equal to zero, this means that their number is even. So ns log, then they just go ahead and print your number is even. And I spell number wrong, good, good, good. Just making sure. Else, if it, it's, well, I guess we can do that. Else, if r is equal to 1, what do we want to write? And let's just go ahead and copy this because I'm way too lazy to type that whole thing again. Yeah, right. I got stuff to do. And paste that and write your number is odd. So here's what's going to happen. If they enter an even number, the remainder is going to be 0 in our little test right here. And it's going to say your number is even. But if they enter an odd number, when you run it, it's going to say your number is odd. So let's go ahead and build this and we'll run it twice. It say enter a number idiot. Wow, that's kind of harsh. I probably shouldn't have put that. I forgot I was the one doing this. Um, we'll do 13. Press enter and it says 
your number is odd. All right, let's build and run this again. Enter a number, idiot. Um, 20. Enter your number is even. Wow, this program is amazing. Yeah, because it makes money off of this baby. Ooh, game time. And so one last time, here's what happened. We have two variables, one to hold the user's number and one to calculate the remainder. We gave him a prompt that says enter the number idiot because we're mean, but you know, sometimes you have to be mean to get your point across. Next, we scan in a number from the user. And what we did is we divided that number by two and figured out the remainder and we stored that remainder in the variable r. Now, if the remainder is zero, when you divide by two, that means your number is even. So that's why we said if zero, your number is even. Else, if you know you have any remainder at all, that means it didn't divide evenly, and that means your number is odd. So that's why we made this little else at the bottom to say your number is odd. So again, either this runs or this runs. Like I said, no possible way that this statement and this statement can run, no matter what kind of computer program you are build. It's either this one or this one, but not both. So I hope you guys learn a little more about um, the if else statement and you know maybe a little bit about math too. Who knows? But uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and if you get some free time, check out my blog. Mm. Mm. I'll see you later.